everybody. This is Chuck and as I always say, thank you for stopping by. I always appreciate your time and my visit to my shop. Uh, just kind of an update here. Uh, work's been busy. At the end of the video I may show you a little bit of uh, a little bit of tractor work. Um, I have a uh, 10 lot, 12 acre project, 1 acre lots that we are grading away on. So I've been busy on that. But uh, the other day I ended up buying, this is uh, for the Monarch, um, ended up buying two uh, D13 plates so the guy the fella had uh, adjustable chucks on it that's what the uh, the boss is here for and so I picked them up and I'm going to do two different things here so right now there's one in the lathe we'll go over and take a look at it uh, makes quite a mess they're they're um, cast iron so uh, the the, the uh, chips coming off you really got to protect the lathe, but we'll talk about that. But what I'm planning on doing is this was the uh, four jaw chuck that I got from Vivor and this is uh, not an independent so it uh, it's a scroll type four jaw and it does have a small recess here on the back so I'm gonna do basically the something similar to that where I can go ahead and use the recess for aligning the chuck and then go ahead and mount it on that adapter plate. So let me uh, let me move the uh, camera and we'll take a look at what's in the lathe right now kind of in process and uh, I'm not going to show you turning and stuff but we'll do some some little clips here and there. Hang on. So this is uh, kind of an in process here. As you can see, I cut the uh, boss off of the uh, face and I'm now um, ready to go ahead and create the second boss now for the four jaw chuck. But you can see the amount of uh, swarf here. It's just nasty. And so the paper towels, the magnets, uh, everything there is protected on the lathe. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to remove and clean everything and then uh, start on the next procedure. Yes, and I still need to uh, chamfer the inside of that. The second unit that I have, um, kind of thinking about it, is uh, I think I'm going to make a, uh, a face plate for it. Um, let me walk down here for a second. I have uh, I have these uh, units, two of them, that uh, I got from Chewy. I sure miss Chewy. Um, and I'm thinking of doing basically the same thing, except go ahead and take the other backing plate, maybe put a sacrificial aluminum piece on the on the front, have it drilled and tapped, and then I can go ahead and hold things with clamps. I do have a large uh, faceplate for the uh, Monarch, but something smaller in the six inch range uh, might be real helpful. The other thing to show you while I'm down here <coughs> is this is the adapter that uh, I've been working on using the live centers that I modified so that it can actually thread into that adapter and having just an issue that when the unit is in the lathe it's this piece is running very very concentric but the mounting of my chuck onto the plate here I seem to be getting about 10 thou run out and I've been fooling around with it trying to determine is it the mounting or is it the chuck um, I've been going around and around on it, and uh, I'll uh, I'll get it I'll get it sorted out. I got a feeling that uh, the clearance holes were too tight on this. 
because I've been trying to bump it around to get it to run concentric and I'm not having any luck. But anyway, I'll bring you back. Well, just a quick shot. Got the machine uh, cleaned up and uh, get it all covered up again and make a little bit more of a mess. Well, I feel like a doctor prepping for surgery, <laughs> getting the patient all covered up. The one thing I didn't do yesterday when I was working on this is I didn't wear a dust mask. And although there was a bunch of cast iron dust in the air as it cut. So today, dust mask. Anyway, onward and upward. Well, as you can see, I've got the uh, mounting plate out of the uh, lathe. I do have a register cut there, and it fits just perfect on the back of the uh, scroll chuck. And so what I've done here is I've made a mandrel, or spud, that's sitting in the three-jaw chuck below, so that I can go ahead and rotate around and drill the three mounting holes that I need to uh, drill and tap for the chuck. Uh, I'm not going to show you any of that, it's just straight drilling and tapping line up on a hole, but uh, hopefully soon you'll see the unit back on the Monarch uh, spinning. Okay, we're going uh, handheld here. I've got the four jaw scrolled chuck mounted on the uh, Monarch 10 E here and uh, not bad we're looking at about three thou run out for this uh, this is a, a chuck that uh, Vivor had sent me so it's not a big high dollar chuck by any means but it'll be here so when I got to hook up uh, put a square piece in there it'll be a quick uh, quick setup Hope you uh, enjoyed and uh, catch you soon here again on another Screwy Tuesday.
Is that lamb? Lamb. 